this tutorial, I'm going to explain how to save your PowerPoint presentation as a video file without altering any of your preferred settings. I'm going to be using Microsoft PowerPoint 2010, although this procedure might work for PowerPoint 2007. The overall process is pretty straightforward. First, open your PowerPoint file that you have previously saved. Make sure that you have checked and revised it as this will be the final time you can edit your presentation before converting it to a video file. Next, click on the File tab on the leftmost side of all the tabs displayed. Right under the File tab, there will be several options shown. Click Save and Send. Right under the File Types header, click Create a Video. On the rightmost side of the page, there will be several options displayed before you save your file. Click on the first drop-down menu. At the moment, it is set to Computer and HD Displays. Here you can change the quality of the video based on your purpose. On the next drop-down menu, which is currently set to Use Recording Timings and Narrations, you can choose if you want to include your set timings or narrations if you had created them in your PowerPoint project. If you don't have a set timing or narration, there is a small setting below of the second drop-down menu that says seconds to spend on each slide. Here you can change how many settings you want each slide to take. At the moment it is set to 5 seconds for each slide. After you are satisfied with the changes you have made to the video settings, click create video. Another dialog box will open asking you where you want to save the PowerPoint file. I have already saved it to the desktop in this case, although you can save it wherever you want. Depending on how long and how much detail you have put into your presentation, the video conversion may take a few minutes to complete. You can view your PowerPoint presentation status on the bottom right of the program. When the conversion process is complete, close your PowerPoint and open the presentation video to test its quality. From here, you can include this video presentation in video editing software such as Windows Live Movie Maker. And that's it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching. The results of the video presentation are as shown.